Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. So today we have Vale's Unique Friendships, which is a very appropriately named beer because uh, Glass Can Bottle Beer Review sent it to me. And he and I have a very unique friendship where we have never met each other, but we were becoming friends. Uh, we talk most days by text message or YouTube comments. Uh, I've said this in other videos. He's just a good dude, good dad, loves beer, uh, good husband, all that stuff. And we... Yeah, it's funny. I get you meet people different ways in life. I just cut my nails, and um, it's just interesting how much he and I have in common, you know. And like when you talk to people, you kind of there's like a little free life advice, right? The more you talk to people and meet people, you find more commonality, and it's kind of cool as we're um, talking more and, and uh, interacting more that we're finding out we have a lot of stuff in common. So it's been real cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, never met each other in real life. We have a very unique friendship, and that is again the name of this beer. Of course, they do a cool with the Z at the end of friendships. Uh, it's an eight percent double IPA. It's all El Dorado, so it should be relatively tropical and mangoey. Man, I'm pretty excited about this. All right, yeah, about finger and a half ahead. It looks very much like juice. Um, yeah, again, I get the lights. I keep saying that. Um, yeah, like, uh, that, that honeyish color, um, with some pineapple and apple juice. Yeah, so it looks very juicy. Um, like I said, with the El Dorado, I'm, I'm going to guess it's got a lot of mango and tropical notes. Let's get into the aroma. It smells very much like mango juice. And orange juice, yeah. It's almost like you can get those blends of juice. It definitely is like a mango orange juice. Man, that smells like the beach. <laughs> that smells, wow, that just smells like sunshine. This is awesome. Yeah, sometimes I'll make smoothies, you know, and uh, <clears throat> if I buy frozen mangoes, and that's like the main ingredient for fruit. It has that, you know, when you you get the blender going and when you pour it out because you chopped it up and open everything up, you get that huge whiff of mango. And that's definitely what this smells like. Man, it just smells phenomenal. Uh, let's get into the glass. Cheers. The taste in the glass. I haven't had a beer yet. Jeez. Anyway, cheers. That's good. So you definitely get mango, but does not drink like mango juice. So you get the mango. You do get a little bit of like dankness in the end. You get some citrus, especially pith, um, especially in the back, the finish. <clears throat> Man, that's really good. And that rind, a little bit of. Uh, candy pineapple, just a little bit of that. Wow. Decent level of bitterness. You definitely know you're drinking a beer. But it's interesting how that starts with some of that mango. And then it finishes super citrus pithy. So it is kind of like a roller coaster of flavors there. In the middle, you do get some uh, generic tropical notes. So it, it does kind of make sense that this is all El Dorado. A little bit of green tea note as well. That is super refreshing. I say 8%. Yeah, 8%. Don't taste any of the alcohol. Um, <clears throat> good mouthfeel. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I, I'd say somewhere like in the 60% range in terms of like zeros, no mouthfeel, like the worst mouthfeel I've ever had. Um, and 100 is like the best mouthfeel. I'm going to say it's like in the 60s uh, percentile uh, for mouthfeel. So it does have a nice um, uh, taste, and, and but it stays uh, and it kind of coats the mouth. So yeah, definitely a good mouthfeel. Let me get one more swig, see if I get anything else. No, it's just good. Now, you if you want to try this, just know it does have a decent bitterness. <clears throat> I don't know what's in my throat. Jeez. Um, so 
anyway, yeah, so it has a decent amount of bitterness. So it's definitely not just straight juice, despite the smell, which the, if you went just by the aroma, like it should be a juice, like very much just a juice bomb, but has that uh, great level of bitterness. So you know you're drinking an IPA, has those tropical notes, uh, that nice citrus in the finish, which I do like. Uh, I'm going to say that I like this one a lot. Uh, last night, I think it was last night, I did their um, hashtag Lady Bros Night Out which I thought was good, and I would recommend it because it's got that tart and everything. Uh, if you just want straight double IPA with a nice bitterness, this. Uh, so, again, thanks for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. Love that we're trading beers. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers.